Hello everyone and welcome. Today I wanted to make a video because Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday and I just wanted to show you guys what I was gonna be giving my mom for Mother's Day. So um, I'm going to be giving her one of the pages from the Heritage um, scrapbook pages that we did at the Create Crop at Home. And then I made a cute little box to go with it. So it looks like this, and when you open it up, and then there's some uh, cards on the inside. And if you'd like to see how I made this, and um, you're interested in maybe making it for someone, let's get started on the video. Okay, so we have out our We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard, and we're going to cut a piece of paper to nine and three eighths by five and a half. We're going to score at one inch, one and three quarter inches, five and a quarter inches, five and seven eighths inches, and that'll be our last score. I got this idea from off of the Posh Paper Lady. She made a, a card like this. Hers doesn't have a, a flap on this side. It was um, a Valentine's card. It just opened like this. So if you choose to, you can not do the part that closes closes it over. Then the box that I made is this one right here. I got I made this box from off of Cricut, and I will put the Cricut link in the description box. But if you want to make a box of your very own. She, the Posh Paper Lady, makes a box um, when she makes this, and you can go on her website and get the dimensions. And this box glues right into the center of our score marks. I'm just gonna glue down my box. I'm gonna take a ruler just to push down the insides to make sure that they get glued down. The inspirational quotes that I used are from also on Cricut, and they are the Zoe De Chanel inspirational quotes, and they're the mom ones. So they say things like, I feel full of life. I allow creativity to flow through me with ease. I have enough, I do enough, I am enough. And I'm gonna give these to my mom for Mother's Day. And I cut them out of the heritage papers. And so that's the design that's on the back. I used an extra one that um, got messed up and I cut out the center and I applied it into the center of my box from off of Cricut. I'm now going to cut the, um, corners using, I don't have a corner punch, but I have the alphabet punch board. So if you have a corner punch, I say just use that. I'm not gonna cut all of the corners. I'm gonna cut diagonal corners. And so they're gonna have a, a different kind of shape to them. They're gonna look like this. And I'm gonna do that to all 16 that I made. These go into the little box just like that. So I just used my corner pocket die to cut out this shape and then the pocket die is um, too big for the, the this is a this card measures three, three and a half by five and a half. So this, this pocket was too big for this card. So I cut it out and then I cut the sides off. Now I wanna do some matting and layering. So the first one that I have is this um, pink one from Heritage, which is also from the teacup cardstock. Um, from Heritage, it's not double-sided. In the teacup, it is. So if you want to use this paper um, and you don't have a Heritage, use the teacup cardstock. And I use the uh, 
dies that we got at Create Crop at Home to cut my mat. And this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I use the number six mat. I'm just gonna use my glue to set this down and line it up. And then I cut two mat, three mats for the inside. This one is what a half inch by five and five eighths. That one goes here. And these are five eighths inches by five and five eighths inches. And now I can take my pocket and glue that on this side. And I created this pocket so that she can take her daily affirmation, inspirational quote and stick it right in the pocket. Cut out just the wording of one of these affirmation sentiments and I'm going to glue that to the front of the box. They gave us these sentiments in the Create Crop at Home kit and I'm going to use Love. I cut it out of gold foil. And that's the inside. So let's get started on the front. I cut another mat. This is mat number four from those concentric frames. I'm gonna lay it this way. And then I made another layer out of number three. Using some of the embellishments from out of the Heritage set, I'm going to decorate the front of this card. Okay, this is our box. Um, I think I'm gonna put a magnet on the inside to close it, or some sort of a closure. And so it, it looks like this on the front. It'll close here, open up, and then all of my affirmation cards will be on the inside and this is for my mother and I made this because I wanted it to match the heritage page that I'm gonna give her for Mother's Day thanks for watching like don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with a crafty friend and enjoy the rest of your day bye